Hey guys. Hi. Say hello. Say hi. Um, she starts preschool tomorrow, so she is very, very excited about that, aren't ya? Mommy can get the rest of this packing done. I'm up here because my downstairs is like a total mess, and that's usually where I film. Um, there's like boxes everywhere, like it's crazy. <laughs> so I'm just like filming right here. There's like some toys back there, but I'm too lazy to clean that. So <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just gonna go into this video. I'm going to do my, let's see, my second project pan finale and my third project pan intro. I didn't just wanna do the finale in this one because I feel like it would be kind of boring and really short, so I just decided to throw in like the introduction for the next one in this video as well. So there was three products that were left over. Sorry, I'm looking down. I'm just grabbing these things down here. Um, there was three products left over from last time and I used every single one of those. Can you believe it? I used everything for my second project pan. Like there's no rollovers. I can't believe I actually used some of these things. So the first one was the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Chocolate and I used that bad boy. There's no more in there. So I used that up completely. Um, I really do like this one. In the future I might consider repurchasing it but I did notice that I was using it up. Um, there was like a little bit left. It was starting to go really hard. So Maybe in the future I would repurchase these, but right now I'm just loving my MAC one. So, but yeah, this one's a really good one and I used it up. The next thing I used up completely was my NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. So there's like a little bit of yellow in there <laughs> that you can see, but all of that is used up. And this is a good powder, I just don't like the color. So I've actually repurchased. I've actually repurchased this. I just got the white one, just like the translucent white instead of the yellow, because the yellow wasn't my favorite color. But I did really like the powder a lot. Um, and then I used my Tarte Blush and Exposed. I cannot believe I used this up. Like it is all gone. Like that's just crazy. I've never used up a blush, especially a Tarte blush, because they're not like the softest blushes. They're kind of hard to use, so <laughs> use that bad boy. Just shows you how much I love it. I haven't repurchased this yet, but it is definitely on my list, and I love this. It's my favorite blush of life, so I will definitely be getting this again. Hey, Aubrey, do you want a little thing to play with? Look, Mommy used it. You want to use a little blush thingy to play with? Aubrey can put it in her little purse and play with it. Um, so now on to my new Project Pan, my third Project Pan introduction. I have 10 products. Um, a lot of them are full. Some of them are pretty used. Like actually some of them are pretty used, but some of them are full. So it might take a little bit, but I'm hoping I can get through this by the end of the year. So the first one is the Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Defining Liquid Makeup. And this is just the Naked Skin Foundation by Urban Decay. Um, yeah, so this is okay. It's just not my favorite foundation in the world and it's past the point where I can return it. I've only used it a few times. Um, so it's pretty high up there. I think it's about right there. I think, you know, there's there's quite a bit left. Um, it's an okay makeup, but I like my other ones, some other ones a lot better. But I don't just want to like get rid of this because it's kind of an expensive foundation. So I'm definitely going to use this up. And so I'm putting that in this project just to help me use this baby up. So yeah, I can just get out of my collection because I do have other ones I like more. I don't think I'd ever repurchase this. Um, yeah, it's just okay, but I will definitely use this up. So I'm going to put that in here. Another one is a primer. This is my Maybelline Master Prime in the Blur and Redness Control one. I absolutely love this primer and I love the other one in the smoothing one too. Um, but yeah, I just want to use it. I've had it for a little bit of now. I've had it for a little bit of time now and I just don't want it to go bad and I haven't been using it a lot. So I just want to use this up and I will definitely repurchase either this one or the other one in this line because I really do like these primers. They're really great. So yeah, really like this product. So it won't be hard for me to use because I really like it. So yeah, I'm going to use that up and I, it's pretty full. It's probably only to like there. So I still have, you know, quite a bit in there. Um, another one is a powder. This is the Hello Flawless Powder by Benefit. This powder I've only used like three times. Um, it is like completely full. Like there's no pan even close to showing. It is a very finely milled powder though, so it does go quickly. But I bought this and I used it a few times because I used to love this powder. And then it just kind of sat there and sat there and I just realized it's a little bit heavy for me now. It's not super light. It's a more like full coverage powder. So I'll definitely use that probably with like baby creams and stuff. 
but it's not my favorite powder and I don't think I'd ever rebuy it again. Um, but yeah, it was kind of an expensive powder and I don't want it to go bad, so I'm gonna use that. Another powder that's actually really close to being gone is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. I love the Mineralized Skin Finishes by MAC. Um, see how much it's been used? There's only like a little bit around <laughs> here. So this one is pretty dang close to being used. So that one won't take me too long. Um, I also have the one in Light Plus right now. So I don't think I'll repurchase this right now. I think I'll wait till the Light Plus runs out and I'll decide if I want to get the Light Plus or the Medium. But I really like the Medium for like super light foundations um, just to give it a little bit of warmth. But I love these powders so much. They're my favorite 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 powder so I really like this and that one I don't think that one will take me too long um, this is the NARS um, duo in Olympia I absolutely love this so I'm not going to use this one up at all I'm going to just not even that one's not gonna be in my project pan just this um, I have a little bit of pan showing I love this it's like a blonde bronzer blush type shade oh you need help I'm gonna play with your little blush there you go that's my Your penny fell out. Here. My money fell out. There you go. That's my money. You good? So this is like a bronzer type of blush. It's a very rosy kind of brown. I love this. It's beautiful for fair skin. Um, as soon as I use up this, I'm actually going to depot this and put it in with my eyeshadows. Because this isn't really like a highlight. Um, it's very matte. And so it's just weird that they would do like a bronzer kind of highlight duo. Because it's not really a highlight. It's just like a matte eyeshadow. But it's beautiful to use like above your brow bone and stuff. And it's an absolutely beautiful palette to travel with. Because you could use this for eyeshadows as well as like a bronzer shade so I love this and I'll definitely um, pan this out and use it as an eyeshadow but I'm just focusing on this in the project and I have a little bit of pan showing so I will definitely repurchase this again right when it runs out because this is an amazing product I love the bronzer I wish that they made it with just the bronzer because um, oh my gosh that's so pretty so anyway but it is nice for like travel too so for like an eyeshadow type thing for traveling and bronzer I've done that a lot um, yeah really really like that and I will definitely be using that um, this is the baby don't go blush by Mac um, it's a blush but I use it as a bronzer um, this is the shade um, I've gone through like three of these I love this so much for like a bronzer shade especially if you have fair skin it's just so so pretty so yeah, I'll definitely be using be using that up and I will definitely be repurchasing it right after it's gone because this is like one of my favorites. Obviously, I've gone through it like three times, so I really, really like that one. Um, this is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother. I just have it in the little size. This has become my favorite like product for filling my pores in and stuff. I love this. My favorite used to be my MAC. There's like a MAC line filler base, but this is so much better. It's just so, so great. And they sell them in like the big sizes, but I found this in like the little size. I think it was like $10. So as soon as this is gone, I'm gonna have to hunt another one of these down because I love this so much and it's probably like to right here. So there's probably not very much, but love this so much. Okay, so this is an eyebrow pencil. This is the Anastasia Brow Is in the shade Soft Brown. Um, I do really like these. They're like basically the same thing as the NYX, um, the NYX, uh, micro brow pencils the one that I used up I mean they're the same thing I do have a video comparing them if you want to check it out but yeah I do like the Anastasia brow whizzes but like I don't know if I love the texture of these kind of pencils they're just a little bit rough so I do think I would repurchase the um like if I ever wanted to repurchase one of these I'd get the you know one from NYX because it's half the price so maybe in the future I will, but right now, like I said, I just love my MAC one and I love a few other ones that I have. So yeah, but it is a really good brow pencil and I'll definitely use it up. Um, let me try to roll it and see how much I have. So that's where it's clicking right there. So I have this much left, so not like a terrible amount. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to work on using that buddy up and that should hopefully be gone, you know, within the next couple months or so. And then I have my last two are lipsticks. This is the Marc Jacobs Lipstick in Dizzy Spell. Um, just beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. I have so many of these and I love them. This one's not my very favorite shade ever, so I just want to use it up. I only have that much left. I used to just love, love, love this, and now it's just not my favorite shade in the world, but it's like a peachy color. It's really pretty, so 
I'm just definitely going to use that up because it's really pretty. Um, and then this is the Urban Decay Lipstick in the shade Naked. Did you get a strawberry? Is it gummy? Is it gummy? Um, and yeah, I really like the Urban Decay lipsticks. I don't think I'll ever purchase this color because I have a lot of other colors similar to this. But um, it is just a really, really pretty like natural pink. And that's as much as I have left. So not too much in that one. So yeah, those are my 10 things for this project, my project pan number three. I am really excited about doing this. I'm really liking this. It's kind of fun because it gets you to like use up things that you've had in your collection for a while. A lot of things in this project I absolutely love and they're like some of my favorite things and so it'll be really easy to use them up and just repurchase them and you know, be able to use some things up in my collection before I ever purchase, you know, again, just so they're nice and fresh and you don't have to worry about them going bad and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed washing and <laughs> thumbs up for little Missy over here. Um, and she starts preschool tomorrow, how fun. And we are actually closing on our house tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, hmm, crazy. Anyway, wish us luck and we will talk to you guys later, bye.